Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book related video. And just to let you know, we're also live streaming this on Twitch as well. And uh, once I tell you what we're live streaming, you have an appreciation for what's going on right now. But basically, uh, the short version of it is uh, someone that's been supporting uh, our work here that ended up buying some of the comic books that we had listed on eBay uh, ended up getting the comic books I packaged them up ended up getting the comic books and they mentioned that they were sending the comics to be great and I was really curious to see what the grades were that they were gonna come back as and the person that bought it uh, Mark thank you the person that bought it uh, mentioned that as soon as it came back they were gonna send one of the comics back to me as a gift okay and we're gonna take a look at that I mentioned when the live stream started that I have my fingers crossed it came back as a grade we were that I graded it at uh, on the eBay auction uh, either way amazing <laughs> literally amazing right uh, no pun intended okay so we're gonna take a look at that and what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna show you a couple of comic books that I bought in the last couple of months okay as you know I'm sort of flying on low budget so I've been sort of scavenging right there's auctions coming up for uh, local sellers so I've been trying to bid on stuff and whatnot I've lost out most of almost all of the bids that I put in but I was able to get my hands on a couple of fantastic buys and very happy actually more than a couple of the other ones sort of were things that I wanted they were really uh, on the low end they were uh, on the cheap cheap and they're just filling in collections and I'm very happy to have them at some point I'll show them to you but I thought uh, I would show you these ones which were leaps and bounds way more expensive than any of the other uh, penny comics that we ended up buying right but I'm gonna show you these other two uh, two as well very happy to have these in my collection okay one of them is CGC so we've added a, another CGC uh, comic to our comic book collection as well as the gift that has found its way to us and there is three books that I want to review for you okay and I thought we start off with the reviews because uh, well two of these books actually all three of these books you would have uh, heard me talk about but one of them I mentioned that I was going to read basically I grabbed it I bought it pre I think it was during the spring it came out spring of uh, uh, this year right and I mentioned that I was going to have a read through it during the summer and I did end up having a read through it okay so let's do the reviews first and then we're gonna look at the comic book hauls okay the first comic book right is the one that I ended up getting in the spring and I and I've shown this to you guys and I showed it uh, a couple of times during the live streams and this book is Monk by Yusef Dak Udi okay this book right here now I don't you know I'd never heard of Yusef Dak Udi right I tried looking him up and I did look him up and it looks like he's done a fair bit of work I believe he's releasing the books in French I'm not 100% sure on this right I didn't dig too deep into who the creator of this book is know this name I've, I'm gonna keep my eyes out for this this person as well from now on for anything that they're putting out right but the reason I bought this book was because of monk Thelonious monk and I've mentioned Thelonious monk before right and as soon as I saw this uh, advertising previews because I look at the catalog that comes you know I get uh, the previews catalog every month when it comes to the comic book uh, store he, he basically supplies free previews to anyone that has a subscription box at his comic book store so I get that every month and I flip through it and at the beginning of this year I believe 2019 I saw this solicited and I ordered it through the comic book store and it arrived in spring right now this book hands down is brilliant really let me show you some of the artwork right and the reason that I picked up this book is because of Thanonius 
this is the way you pronounce his name or spell his name t-h-e-l-o-n-i-o-u-s thelonious hopefully that'll focus thelonious monk okay he was a jazz pianist composer uh, from the 19 i should know because i read this but the dates uh you know escape me but from the 1950s 60s and i forget when he passed away right i believe it was uh, last decade or so maybe 90s or 2000s like again i should know because i read this but i finished this a few months ago okay and if you want to read an amazing biography on an amazing musician considered to be one of the greatest musicians ever really in some of people's top five greatest american musicians ever top 10 greatest musicians ever greatest composers ever just an artist really uh, this is it you need to read this okay now for me i had heard of monk through a documentary that dave chappelle put out called block party right and block party was a sort of documentary chappelle put out where in, he invited a whole bunch of musicians to come and um, basically have a block party right he sent out some invitations and stuff and brought in jill scott and dead prez and uh, kanye west and um, talib kowell and uh, most deaf right they were also playing and there was a few other people playing right and i knew some of them and some of those people i sampled their music after watching that documentary okay now during the documentary if you haven't seen it i highly recommend watching it right it's called dave chappelle's block party now during the documentary dave chappelle mentions thanonius monk it's just a really it's like a 30 second little or even a 15 second little uh rant that Chappelle does regarding Monk and I, when I watched that documentary that sort of stuck with me and I checked into Monk back then but because I was sampling some of the other music um, that other musicians that were playing during the block party I really didn't get a chance to go off on Monk right when I ordered this when the book arrived right in spring of this year what I ended up doing was I already had Miles Davis on my MP3 player, right? So I started listening to a lot of Miles Davis. I started listening, uh, sort of looping that with uh, Scars on Broadway, the person that came out from System of Down, right? So I was listening to Miles Davis and Scars on Broadway, right? As soon as this book arrived, thanks to recommendations from people on Twitch that know their music, they recommended I had listened to John Coltrane as well. So I, I sampled a few albums from john coltrane right so i started looping miles davis and i started looping uh, john coltrane right in preparation to listening to thanonius monk and what i ended up doing i sampled some of the albums from monk let me give you the list of the albums that i listened to right uh, genius of modern jazz volume one and number two okay live at five spot mysterio mysterioso okay monk's music plays duke ellington straight no chaser columbia collection complete prestige recording and underground okay those are the albums of monk that i ended up looping so basically the way i pre prepped myself really and you have to pre prep yourself for this okay the way i prepped myself i looped miles davis scars on broadway together and then i kicked into john coltrane looping about five of his albums right a few times and then i listened to these albums from monk okay once i had gone through one iteration of this because i needed to have an appreciation for what Mon monk's music was about right just uh, just a 15 second little rant that Chappelle had of Thelonious Monk it was praise like leaps and bounds beyond one hour speeches of people praising other musicians right it was it was amazing it really stuck with me right so I I knew it was going to be magnificent so I looped these albums once or listened to them once 
once I had gone through one iteration, I started reading this and I listened to the albums multiple times, right? I'm not sure how long it took me to read this. Uh, I savored it. There's times where I would just read a few pages, right? Really, just read a few pages. And then I would listen to the music, right? And this is basically a biography. There are other musicians that have appearances in this book, right? Some of the stuff, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, right? They talk a little bit about it. There is a little bit of New York history with Rothschilds being in here. That's how it started, which blew me away, right? And this book is created in a way that reflects Monk's music. Like, I can't explain it beyond that. Because, well, let me try, right? This thing is sort of goes into sort of a dreaming to a certain degree and that's what I found myself happening or what was happening to me when I was listening to monks music because when I was listening to monks music some of the stuff is offbeat some of the stuff is very mellow some of the stuff just goes chaotic so basically I would go for two hour walks and listen to the music I was traveling somewhere for you know an hour trip or hour and a half trip I was listening to the music and what I found myself feeling experiencing was basically the same type of experience you would have if you were in a room with a lot of people where all of a sudden the conversation picks up and the volume in the in the room becomes grows and grows and sometimes it just becomes overwhelming and then boom just dies down and there's whispers in the room and quiet where you can just sort of meditate and lose yourself in your own thoughts and then slowly the music picks up again and all of a sudden you find yourself sort of carried away in some kind of experience or conversation where it's picking up and it's lots of excitement and then all of a sudden boom right that's the feel of monk's music to me okay and that was exactly the feel I got from this book. I know I'm giving it, like I'm really, I'm losing uh, some of my words, right? Because l l reading this and looping Monk for, I don't know, it took me a couple of weeks, right? To, I took a little break in the middle and I looped Monk a few more times, these albums. And then I went back to this again, right? Because I really didn't want it to end. And I was finding that I was reading parts of this and then I would have to go back and listen to the albums again and try to catch some of the descriptions, some of the, some of the feel of what the music represents, interpretation really, of monks music represents and then try to listen to it hear it on the albums right and I would you know there's they drop a few names of albums and songs in this right so I would go back to my playlist to make sure you know I had the music that I was you know that was being mentioned here in the albums that I was looping and some of them I did, some of them I didn't, right? Because a monk has his his library is enormous. I don't know who's who's as larger, Nino Simone's or Monk's. Um, my guess is Nino Simone produced 38, I believe 38 uh unique uh standalone albums, and there's a whole bunch of compilations of the best of and whatnot. I haven't looked into how many albums Monk released, his disc discography, but what I had, what, what, what I've been looping, what I mentioned, the albums that I listed, that's just a fraction of how much work he's produced, right? And a lot of those, well, not a lot of it, but a fair bit of the classic stuff that they're supposed to be, they're considered to be classic, are mentioned in this 
graphic novel. Highly recommend it. Really, I could sit here for an hour talking about this, flipping through this. But I don't want to give too much spoilers if I've given uh, too much already. Hopefully I haven't. Okay. Highly recommend reading this if you like amazing biographies, comic book graphic novel biographies. And if you like, if you're a music aficionado, if you want to listen to someone which is unique, 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 it will blow you away. If for sure read the graphic novel at the same time because you'll have an appreciation for what's going on with the music, right? Because at first, first few loops that I did, I really didn't appreciate what was happening until I hit certain parts of the graphic novel that was talking about some of the tracks that I was listening to. And then I would go back and listen to those albums. I would go, oh my God, that is brilliant. That is amazing, right? And then you can sort of try to focus in on the piano because Monk was the pianist in all of these, I believe, right? You can listen to the piano and try to catch the notes that Monk is playing, right? And then no matter how hard you try, you find yourself sort of lost in the music and the piano drifts away from you and the other instruments kick up and then once the the sound right the rhythm hits a certain place where i haven't figured it out yet but it's most likely when monk is sort of slowly coming back into the conversation of the music you see it pick up again and you go oh wow, wow 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 boom drop right absolutely brilliant highly recommend it highly recommend it okay the next graphic novel the next graphic novel is volume number four of monstrous okay now i've been collecting i'm buying the singles of this and i bought i hopped on this from the get-go when the number one came out like in 2016 i believe right this thing is brilliant highly recommend it if you like epic tales and the artwork is very unique right and this is created by marjorie lu and uh, sanata Taka takida okay the names are up here monstrous so this is volume number four don't pick up don't start reading this from volume number four that's like jumping in to lord of rings in book number two you can't do it you need book number one you have to go through that right this is on the same level it is absolutely an epic piece and in this volume i'm going to give a little spoiler here in this volume all of a sudden we see the players that are about to embark on the journey just like many great uh fantasy science fiction tales uh in literature where there's character build up uh, incredible for issue after issue and then all of a sudden you find yourself you know sometimes lost in the story but once you move on a few pages or a couple of issues down you realize what was happening in previous issues right absolutely brilliant if you want an epic read uh one of the greatest comic books uh comic book stories that have been told uh, at least in the next last couple of decades right fantastic read highly recommended highly recommended okay great read the third review sorry about the quick review on these ones because i don't want to give away any spoilers for monstrous right i really don't uh because it's it's very important if you like science fiction and fantasy to have a read through that okay here's another book that i picked up uh, and i picked up this uh the first issue of this when it uh, first came out and this is uh, black hammer now this thing just came out um last week or the week before so week before right and it's a one dollar special reprint of jeff lemire Okay, let me show this to you. Jeff Lemire and Dean Ornstone. Stone. Okay. Jeff Lemire and Dean Arn 
Ormstone are the creators of this book, right? This universe, really, Black Hammer. And Black Hammer just had a recent crossover with Justice League from DC Comics. So it's pretty much established that Black Hammer, this universe is going to be around for a very long time to come. And what's happened is uh, Jeff Lemire and Dean have formed a production company. And they're, I believe there is movies and TV series about to be produced based on this universe right so if you want to delve into this universe go to your comic shop the odds are they will have copies of this i grabbed a handful of copies of this right because it's three comic books in one reprinting three number one issues of different stories from the same universe right the first one is the first black hammer issue that came out now i picked up the first uh this this issue and i picked up i think it was at least i got both of these co covers like this one was one of the covers uh for issue number one and this one was uh, another cover and i believe there's a third cover i picked up the first few issues of black hammer and i had a read through a black hammer when it first came out it, it is absolutely brilliant fantastic storytelling and uh if you watched some of the other comic book uh videos that we put out uh, we've talked about Jeff Lemire. Jeff Lemire's work uh, specifically related to Valiant Comics. He's told some classic epic stories for Valiant Comics and he's put out a lot of independent works as well, right? This one, uh, I just did a little research on them. He considers this to be one of the most uh, important things that he's released, right? He said this is, this is dear to his heart. So there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of depth to this series black hammer and what this thing is is the first issue of black hammer that came out okay and then he put out another story arc related to uh what's it called sherlock frankenstein right and this was cover number one of the covers for right here and this is a cover by uh mike uh, uh mignola the person who does uh Hell, um, the names, <laughs> right? Uh, what you would call it, um, Hellboy, right? And he did the cover for this one, and this story was pretty good as well. It wasn't bad, okay. The art style was a little different, or it could have been the same. It is, just, you know, what I didn't really look into who did the artwork for this, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how who did the artwork for this. It's, felt a little different the inking might have been different so the second story is not bad it's related to the original black hammer story and the original black hammer story i forget how many issues it ran for okay i believe it was a maxi series and then the sherlock frankenstein was a mini series i believe and then there's another number one that came out and he called it uh what was this one called it was called da, 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 the quantum age okay and this is the cover of the first uh cover a i believe and this was cover b okay i didn't pick up this one i picked up sherlock uh, the first issue of the sherlock uh, frankenstein one uh, but i didn't continue buying any of the other ones because i didn't read it and i didn't pick up this one but this one wasn't bad either but the cream de la creme for this is black hammer in my opinion pick this up it should still be available in your comic book store go to your comic book store there should be plenty of these around okay get them to order this for one dollar you get three comic books and the first appearance of the characters in this universe jeff lemire's story uh it's a great introduction and this is the back cover for it all right great introduction uh to this universe and from what i understand tv series and possibly movie in the works for this okay that's the comic book reviews i wanted to do i went off on monk uh a little bit uh hardcore because really i'm still looping Thanolius monk i'm still looping the music so uh it's uh, when i want to sort of drift away and just lose myself and my own thoughts and experience something magnificent right i'm listening to Thanolius monk and 
I'm not I mean I'm gonna be looping these albums how many albums one two three four five six seven eight nine ten albums I'm gonna be looping these ten albums for a while before I load on anymore right because I only have a little four gig mp3 player so I have a few masters on that thing and I cycle through things okay now aside from the comic book reviews let me show you uh, comic book hauls and the little gift that we ended up getting okay here's one book that I bought and I didn't have this and it's a golden age comic book and it's three dimension adventures of Superman in 3d okay <laughs> awesome and this you know they released this thing in 1953 it came with 3d glasses and if you open this up it's got the 3d here let me crack this open so you see it it's graded at uh, two right uh, so it's graded at good so it's low end right so two out of ten basically uh, but I ended up getting at an amazing price ended up picking it up for let me put the tape here and then I'm picking it up picking it up for 1950 Canadian which is basically $15 $14.50 US which is a fantastic price fantastic price so you can see it's you know it's worn it's still attached like the cover is attached and this is what it looks like take a look I don't actually know who the artist for this is uh, da, 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 uh does it even say who the artist for this is i try to find it uh, initially just quickly but uh the man who stole the sun superman take a look at this awesome so the whole comic is like this i haven't put on uh 3d glasses try to track one down to see what it looks like in 3d I've actually had other 3D comics as well. I got one, I got the, I believe there's only one EC comic book from 1952 that they released in 3D. And I ended up getting that at a, as a steal as well a while ago. And uh, this was a great price, okay. The EC comic one, I think we got for less than $10, maybe, maybe for $12 or something. So that was a great buy and glad to have that in my collection as well. But this one, fantastic golden age 3d superman comic right when i picked it up the comic shop owner was like damn you got that at a great price great price very happy with it right <laughs> who doesn't love a 3d superman comic right what was the price on this when it came out 25 cents in 1953 right that's seriously on the expensive side from that period right let me show you this I tried to get my hands on this and I can't believe I got it for this price right um, again the comic shop owner was uh, damn you got that at a great price it's a CGC graded let me take it out of the plastic right CGC graded comic from 1952 and it's crime detective comic volume 3 number 3 right serious reflection here right you can see the camera and the thing what I'm looking at right and it's a female smoking a cigarette this is so like and it's a brand new case that's why it's shining so much he mentioned that this was a brand new case so here yeah, let me show it to you like this right fantastic fantastic maybe this is less reflection right beautiful artwork the crime comics from that period have some of the most amazing artwork and uh, there's Bill uh, Ely art in this it's the last story I looked this up it's the last story right and um, the reason that this is graded at two I believe is because the spine uh, the cover was detached and I didn't know this but it looks like when the cover is detached it automatically drops down to a two if someone um, you know if that's false if I'm on the false or I understood it incorrectly please let me know but as far as display wise goes this thing looks beautiful right there's no extra no notes on it here but it only mentions 
here at the bottom of the CGC thing that the cover is detached so I'm assuming if the cover is detached it automatically kicks it down to a tool I'll have to look this up okay I'm not 100% sure how their grading works I just grade things according to what I think they are right and personally just because the cover was attached I wouldn't grade a comic book as a two not if the cover is this intact right oh yeah how much did I get this for check this out <laughs> I ended up getting this for $26 Canadian which is basically $20 US right that's less than what it cost to send this comic to be graded right when I picked it up the the guy said he was expecting to get a lot more from this and I think what happened was some of the other books that he had went for insane amounts so people were tapped out uh, they couldn't afford to bid on some of the other books so luckily Chicho ended up getting uh, this guy for $20 basically the third one right now this book is the book that was with me a few months ago it's a book that one of the people on twitch uh, popped in and you know we're talking about comic books and stuff like this and they knew I'm not showing you the front of it just because the names and the addresses and stuff are on there right so we're gonna crack this open and this thing is basically a comic book that I put up part of a collection and it's uh, if you've been following the other videos you would have seen it being loaded on we graded it and put it on to eBay it's amazing spider-man 361 right and I put this up with the rest of the amazing spider-man the appearance of appearances of uh, the first appearances of Cletus the cameo appearances of carnage and Cletus and the first two full appearances of carnage and this is the most expensive one it's uh first full appearance of carnage was amazing spider-man 3 uh 361 and this thing um mark is the person that ended up buying it uh, thank you mark i mentioned during the last stream that appreciated very much right and i he mentioned that he was going to send it back to me I was like no man you can't do that it was because this was you know more expensive than i believe most of the other ones put together right so it was the it was a cream right so what he ended up doing was when he got the books he sent this into CGC got it graded and then sent it back up to me as a gift right so huge huge and if you know uh, the history of amazing spider-man this is a very very important book right very important book and what I ended up grading this as was 9.4 right near mint <laughs> seriously I'm like nervous on this I think that's why I've been sort of uh, forgetting names and sort of losing my train of thought because this thing's been sitting on my couch for the last day for us to set up the live stream for me to crack this open right so it was packaged like <laughs> lots of bubbles and wrapping and stuff so let's take this out Look at this. Oh my god, serious bubbles. Look at this. Awesome. <laughs> so we gotta crack this open. Hold on, let me put this guy here. Okay. Let me put this here. Crazy. Let's see what this is. And I don't have this graded. For sure I don't have this graded. Right. I only have I think with this one we have a total of I don't know probably 10 or 12 CGC graded books or something let's check it out and this thing when I graded it um, I mentioned that on the spine on the lower staple I should dangerous lower staple was uh, a little bit of crease on the lower staple so I'm not my estimate of this thing would be 9.4 because the rest of the book was absolutely beautiful right and that was sort of a stress mark or whatever it is on the staple so I'm not sure how much that kicks down the grade 
But let's see what CGC considers that to be. Mark is watching on the live stream, right? Wow, cool. So I guess we're lowballing it on the eBay auctions, right? This sucker came back as 9.6. That is sweet, crazy, crazy. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> fantastic and this thing by the way this thing had because of the printing right the way they print comic books in the bottom of it there's a, the cut things that they do with marvel marvel had a lot of these because this stuff was sort of on newsprint when they did the cut for the comic books there's usually a couple of slits not usually but a lot of the comic books have a couple of slits at the bottom where the cutting happens so they look like holes and they are holes but that doesn't knock it down in the grading so i knew about that so i didn't knock off anything on it i just assumed just because of the <laughs> spine thing on here I was a 9.4 but it came back as a 9.6 oh crazy crazy dude awesome awesome so some of the things we must have graded at 9.6 9 9.6 they would have come back as 9.8 and kick it up kick it up right so people that bought did the buys on the eBay the auctions I'm glad they're they're getting great comics we have one person uh, commenting laughing at how low I was grading some of the comics <laughs> right he was very happy the person buying there's a few people that have been buying the comics they've been very happy with the comics right so first full appearance of carnage 9.6 slapped and th so this thing basically uh, Mark ended up buying for um, it was 167.50 Canadian, which came out to you know that comes out to 120 uh, 126 dollars US or so, right? So 126 dollars US, right? Uh, I don't know how much it costs to send it in for grading. I, I know it costs from Canada it costs too much, <laughs> like it costs like 40 bucks or something or more, right? so 40 bucks canadian so it would be 30 bucks us right so this thing total cost it, not including shipping that mark sent thank mark seriously dude pff, thank you for the love man thank you for the love right uh, i'm just doing a price thing just because we're doing a lot of price things on comic books right so include the shipping and all this jazz so 130 another 30 160 170 let's say 180 let's say right 9.6 cgc for 361 i think it's selling for 200 plus right so with all this shipping sending in yourself to be graded doing a hail mary buy on ebay you find the right buyer you get great deals right fantastic and if the right if, if the seller is super lucky has amazing people that are sending them amazing love they get a great and send them back to them awesome this is great <laughs> what else did they say here uh, amazing spider-man 361 marvel comics uh, january february march april 1992 492 david uh, michelini story mark Bl um, bagley and randy ember lean cover and art first full appearance of carnage cletus cassidy fantastic look at this thing awesome I, this thing's making me crazy happy like really just because it's this you know what it is too I, I've never sent the book in to be graded right the feeling I'm getting right now this was in my hands right I looked at it we flipped it just to make sure right we graded it we sold it 
right? Went to the United States, Mark, kind enough, send it in to be graded, comes back, comes back here, right? This is a book that was in my collection that went on a serious trek and found its way back. Fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. Super, super cool. Super cool. This thing just became one of my favorite comics in my collection. Really. Like, cherish, right? Cherish, cherish, cherish. Right. Very cool. Very cool. Mark. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Awesome. It was about time we did more comic book videos. We're going to do more. Okay. We're going to get into readings. We're going to start doing a little bit more comic book hauls. Um, the odds are I probably won't do any more. We might do more videos where I load comic books on eBay. We'll see how it goes. I'm way behind. I've made some promises to people to load stuff uh, a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I'm way behind. I'm going to try to get some done this week. Uh, but slowly, we're going to start rolling back into comic book mode. Mathematics mode will always be there, okay? Uh, Julian Assange will be there. But comic books, you're going to slowly start seeing more presence, uh, more videos being put out. Uh, we took long enough break from comic books. We've got to do some readings. Uh, we're going to talk about some history and... Uh, and whatever else comic book involves which is many 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 amazing things gang okay aside from that thank you for being here thank you for, for watching pick up monk read it pick up monstrous read it pick up black hammer read it and enjoy your comics bye for now